So here comes my next video. This one's on making sword mat, which is a particular senate that I don't know or haven't been able to find any type of tutorial on how to accomplish that. It's not hard, but I'm gonna show you how to do it regardless. I'm not gonna do every senate that I'm putting into this frame, at least how to make it. It would take too doggone long for your sake and mine. But uh, here's this one. There we go, guys. This is sword mat. That and that this is a much smaller uh weave but anyway so to make this you really need to be able to clamp both ends of the material so that there's tension in here or you'd never get it done and what you're really doing is you're weaving in between like you see here and i'll show you from the side so that's going in between and then you're crossing from here to there, and from there to here with these netting needles. So you're actually kind of tying a knot in between them. This is a very thin line that I got from Michaels. It's thin cotton line, it's not particularly strong, but it's sufficient for this, because it did that. So, there you go. Now I'm gonna, uh, I just wanna kinda introduce you to the basics of it before I show you how you do it. It's pretty easy, actually. So you have to guesstimate how long the interwoven piece is gonna be. In this case, I've got a, about 36 inches of a total length of the Senate, and I've gone with 20 feet. And so 10 feet, 10 feet on your netting needles. And I, uh, you gotta have something to weave with and you need two of them. So I want you get through one, stick that through, and you want to go under these, and then just pull them, then you weave your next, pull that up, that in, give a little tug, and then back through again. pretty easy, but it can be tedious. But that's basically it. It's just that simple. And you just keep moving with it. Give it a tug, tension it. In Ashley's, uh, Clifford Ashley describes this as having actually been hammered home with a sword. So thus, sword mat. Not hard to do. It's a little doing to just get this type of situation set up, but once you do, it's just a matter of going through the motions and being careful not to miss a stitch or something, but uh, not hard. You just got to keep moving on it. Alternating weave. So I'll show you later <clears throat> what I plan to do with this. <clears throat> I saw a particular weave in one of Jesse Eve's uh, frames in a picture that I think this is how he did it. So I'm going to attempt to duplicate it. So as soon as I stop talking, this will be the end of this video. I hope it was something of interest to you and, and maybe helped you along a little bit. Uh, I'm going to continue to make these throughout the course of this project. And uh, if you want to keep track of these, hit subscribe to the channel and like the video or videos. Now there's a total of two videos, but I hope you enjoyed them and we will see you next time on the next one. Thanks.